Hello, Aquarius. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let me get all mic'd up. Okay, let me get mic'd up. All right, Aquarius. Um, let's say our prayer and then let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Look at me shaking the table. Somebody trying to shake the table on you, girl. Uh uh. I rebuke. Okay, so Aquarius, I want to talk about when I was, um, what was I doing? I was meditating off camera for you guys. And the meditation, in meditation, what I got was, um, so I saw, first of all, the title of this is Champ. Like Champ, the Champ. The Champ is here, right? So I saw like someone in like a robe with a hood on and they had the hood on and they were you know riding a lion a huge lion it, it looked like a train so imagine the face of a lion but it was so long and so huge it looked like a train and the champ was riding the lion and we know that the lion is significant you know of god you know, the Lion of Judah, or Hod, you know, God, um, supreme being, whatever you like to term, you know, uh, universal energy is, right? So what I'm getting is that Aquarius, the universe is guiding you or driving you right into victory because the champ had the robe on and the, and the, the, the hood kind of hid the champ's face, right? Um, and it's like the universe is trying to like driving you, guiding you into victory. And the thing is, um, I couldn't see where the lion was walking into, or I couldn't see where the champ and the lion were going, if they were going into a city, a crowd. So it's like the universe is guiding you or riding, or you're riding the wave of the universe, right? Um, they're propelling you they're the locomotive that you're on that this is what keeps you going the universe god spirit supreme being but god spirit is not really telling you where they're guiding you it's just it's a victory right it's also about the aquarius you're protected you know and then the robe the robe also almost kind of like a cloak because the robe kind of hid the chance space right so i was getting like some of you you might need to cloak your energy you might need to do some type of cloaking spell i don't know you know um because your energy is major aquarius it was made this was it was like larger than life you're riding a lion into don't know where you're going but you've got this robe on and it kind of hides your face and the lion's head was so massive and the lion was so long and so big it looked like a locomotive like a train aquarius you're in or on to something great here um so pre-shuffling just shuffling the cards getting the the energy going we got the justice card the ace of swords seven of swords and then the queen of pentacles clarifying all of that it looks like you got an energy here where you are receiving gift from the universe, karmic gift. What you put out is coming back to you. But you got a lot of people wondering, how are you getting? How are you having? How are you maintaining? How did Aquarius get that? How is Aquarius going there? How is Aquarius making money? How is Aquarius? We've got a lot. You're the subject of gossip. You may have even chosen to cut off a number of people, friends, loss of friendship here. Things just didn't add up. In your mind if, and if it didn't add up you just cut it off one of my favorite people I know some of you will you know get it down in the comments and, and combat me on this but one of my favorite people she likes to say if it sounds like a lie it's a lie and that's Judge Judy um, some of you just felt like some of the people in your life what they were doing how they were moving what they were saying the energy just didn't add up. If you can see there like calculations on this Ace of Swords, you know, it's like her eyes are closed and in her mind, she's like calculating. So it's like, 
you made some irrevocable change also in your life. Therefore, it propelled you into victory because the Ace of Swords talks about conflict before the victory. Boom, Aquarius. So it was like you understood that you needed to make some irrevocable change. You needed to cut away, squirrel away. I'm seeing a squirrel outside. I don't know. So some of you were saving. You were storing up. Or there was like a reserve of energy here. The universe could have been helping you again because the aces are portals to the divine. So the universe was like, if you sever ties with, I will give you or I will put you in a place where you will be major victory or major or victorious or I'm just here major victory. So now you've got people wondering about your abundance, wondering how you're sitting pretty, whether you're male or female. Queen of Pentacles wondering how, like, how did you get that? How are you doing so well? How do you look so good? Some of you look young for your age. Some of you just, your body looks good. Your body is right. How are you maintaining? Why do we say that? Also, just the energy at the bottom of the deck to kind of um, piggyback off of that is the Nine of Wands. You got people that's removed from your life or that's removed from your sphere or your circle but they're wondering, they're kind of, I heard chatty. Nine of Wands also um, standoffish. They're not sure if they can approach you. The Nine of Wands also a uh, warrior, wounded warrior. Maybe these were people who thought that uh, you were, uh, or that they were a formidable opponent to you. But again, you're riding the wave or the locomotive of spirit, God. So they're coming up against a force that is, you know, it was it was unwinnable they 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 weren't going to win you know there was going to be no victory so they're they're wounded maybe at the attacks maybe somebody was trying to attack ener energetically there's also lots of people secretly am admiring you we'll we'll use the word admiring there are people you know um standoffish uh They're, they're waiting in the wings that they, they don't know if they can um, come towards you. This is also, you haven't been through a lot, Aquarius. And um, it says, don't give up before the, the actual blessing happens in your life. Don't give up. Yes, you are the wounded warrior. Something big, major is going to happen for you, okay? Um, we got a lot of people in the distance Okay, um, I heard pounce, I wonder when they can pounce. I'm wondering what you're doing. Secret, secret, they'd wonder, some of these people think you have like some secret lover also, you got somebody bankrolling you. But these people are really trying to figure out your life, figure out what you're doing, how you're doing it, what you, you know, you are the subject of gossip, Aquarius. Seven of Swords here. Um, you've been stealth. You've been keeping to yourself. You've been going undetected in terms of whatever it is you're doing. You may have a lot of investments. Your investments are paying off or you have different modalities, okay, spirit, of, of uh, making money. Um, different investments. People are just like, how, why? I heard even copy. Somebody may even be trying to copy. Because look, we've got, you know, on the justice card, they're looking into, and there's a, the copy there. Someone will be trying to copy what you're doing. They want to know how you found balance. Repayment of debt. This is the universe bringing you a big repayment of debt. Enemies, your footstool. Somebody's gonna come back and maybe even try to repay you karmically or they want to. Okay, so take it up. All right, so let's pull some more cards and see what the messages are today for the Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. Spirit, God, angels, what do you want to tell the Aquarius? What do you want to tell the Aquarius? Whoa, 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 okay. That one wanted to come out. 
Five of Swords with the star card showing its face. Um, with the sun card, self healing. Revitalize. Maybe around Leo season, something's going to be significant for you. I think we are in Leo season. Yeah, it's like some of you could be getting a makeover. You're going to come out renewed. You're going to be the face of something. You're going to put your face in something. I don't know. Um, you're going to be the center of attention. The star card talks about the center. There's going to be so much hate, or there is already so much hate with the Five of Swords. There's hate. There's bad blood. There is. There's going to be a need for you to sharpen your words. Stand up for yourself with the five of swords there's also maybe even someone trying to come back mental manipulation this is a test this is a trial someone wants to see if you'll come roll in the mud with them if you'll come out and play with them if you'll fight with them somebody also feels like you're playing a game in terms of you're holding back with the strength card Holding back. Like this is a game. Like the Aquarius is holding back. It's all a game. They really want me to chase them, but I'm gonna make them chase me. I don't, somebody is, somebody's thinking is not clear. Especially about some love affair. Maybe somebody puts you in, you know, some situation where it was not, it was unwinnable. Ooh, somebody's, again, back to that word. I know it's in a word. Like something is just not, it's just not going to be a win for them. Um, something wasn't a win. It's not a win. Somebody's got to walk off tail tucked between the legs. Somebody's ego is bruised here. Ego, lust, pride. Question someone's motive in terms of maybe re if they reach out to you. Okay, with the page of wands, they may be wanting to have like a sexual encounter with you. It'll fizzle out just as soon, you know, as it starts. There's no grounding of this energy. Somebody's trying to explore here. There's a lot of sexual energy here. It's like someone wants to come back and get what they want and then, yeah self-directed self-focused energy could be a cancer somebody wants to have control or someone feels like you're trying to control this is somebody who looks at maybe love and love relationships friendship romantic relationships as a game win lose draw they don't look at it as love it's a relationship if it doesn't work out we're both hurt no it's just like if it doesn't work out and you left me, then you won. And then I got to come back and get you back and try to uh, get you back and liking me. And then I got to leave you and then I got to win. You know, it's, just, it's crazy. So, again, somebody's thinking process is off. Somebody is extremely low vibrational, immature. Immaturity. And the flip side of this, you may have some good news about promotion. There we are, we have our lion and then we have promotion card. It's like the universe is promoting and propelling you. You're gonna be able to live life on your own terms, do what you wanna do, how you wanna do it. If you wanna wake up at 12 noon every day, you'll be able to do it. Other people's money coming up in the strength card with the eight here. Some people are concerned more than they should be about where your money comes from where your help comes from but it comes from the lord um i heard the lord of material wealth okay all right aquarius some of you are the underdog or you came back from with the chariot card you just focused on yourself um some of you getting on getting on a new workout regimen or you, yeah you're gonna start something some of you again just some you know side note you lose weight fast, but you gain it fast also. So your metabolism is, you know, it's, it's active, if you will. Um, there could be makeover. 
a, a big transformation, a makeover. Now this could be by way of universal energy, making you over Aquarius, making you the center of something. Somebody is looking up to you for sexual encounter. I don't know, I'm here like to get you back. Question somebody's motive in terms of coming back into your life because this isn't the best card for a love relationship. This is somebody who's focused on business, career, themselves. It's a self-directed, self-focused energy. And then we got the Ace of Wands, shit, with the Nine of, Pen Nine of Cups. So definitely somebody does want, there's a lot of lust here. Somebody's lusting after you, wanting an encounter with you, wanting um, to have, again, the Nine of Cups talks about emotional exertion, fun emotional exertion or um, physical exertion, but, but it causes for the endorphins to, you know, be a activated. So what, I mean, hell, that's sex, right? So it's like somebody wants to have sex with you with the Ace of Wands. Somebody could even be trying to, yeah, use the wand to get you hooked again or... If I can just have sex with you, if I can just lay with you, if I can just be with you. Somebody can't cope with the fact that it's over. Again, a bruise to the ego with the Ten of Swords. They're in the dark about where they stand with you, what you're doing, how you're doing it. Ten of Swords, is overly dramatic. This was a drama king or a drama queen. They're, they used to play the victim they're used to playing the victim. They want to be the victim in this. Somebody is really resting in the energy. It's finally over. Somebody is having a mental breakdown. Again, back to somebody's mental isn't right. Breakdown. The Ten of Swords or the Ten is about, you know, the, the breakdown so you can have the breakthrough. Hopefully this person will break through this this is a test a trial for them it looks like for you aquarius you got nothing but great cards coming out for you the universe is again a propelling you putting you in a place where perpetual abundance all right i don't know where that came from they want you to know perpetual abundance look these words up and start to affirm them to yourself so that means you'll say it to yourself daily in and out wash rinse repeat perpetual abundance maybe that would be the name of the the reading eight of eight of wands obstacles being removed lifted i'm hearing lifted lifted uh your manifestation what you have been attracting is coming to you eight is significant here august um leo season could be significant you got a lot of leo cards you could be dealing with a leo i don't know you could have leo in your chart it is your opposite there's somebody you were dealing with who was completely opposite of you 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 ate healthy food they ate bad food you like to open up the curtains and let the light in they were like mm, we need some blackout curtains you drank only wine they drank everything at the bar i mean you know everything was an opposite but you guys were trying to make it work this is also karma you know all these eights good or bad you did have the justice card come out so some of you it could and with the queen of pentacles it could be good karma so that means what you have been putting out for a, a an extended amount of time a period is what i'm hearing is coming back to you perpetual abundance there's somebody who's obsessed and infatuated with you. There's a conclusion. Something concludes here. And then there's something else, right? It's not over. Somebody can't get over you because they regret not saying things. It says that the relationship is recoverable, but they have to do the work. But they would rather just cry a river. You see that? Rather than come back to you, do the work. What, what do we know? True reconciliation is confessing one's shortcomings to one another. So when we talk about that reconciliation stuff, understand that if somebody's not going to come back to you and confess where they fell short, in the relationship, 
then just leave it alone. It's not a reconciliation. It's a hookup. Y'all will get back together, hook up, and it's gonna be the same shit. I can bet I'll bet every dollar in my account on it. That's a lot of dollars. Um anyhow, um Yeah, Aquarius. Somebody is stuck. I am stuck on Aquarius. Um, somebody is stuck, stuck. Or this is you. This is a Scorpio. See, what they need to do is go in the deep. They really need to deep, deep, deep. Really, um, get two black cards for them. They're in the dark. They're in a dark place. They, they rather stay there than do the work. But they need to dig deep into why. So they need to start asking the questions of why, what for, why, you know, why come, you know. <laughs> I always say that. Um, this person would rather just stalk you than do the work. We got some of the same cards coming out from a different deck. They would just rather just stalk you. This was loss. Some of you kind of got, you just found out you got hip to this person's game, their trickery, their mastery of maybe your emotional state or how to, how they can manipulate you. You got hip to it and you left this alone. This person is trying to go undetected in their many, 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 many um, not even attempts, but there are many uh, I guess it is an attempt um, but they're trying to be undetected in their stalking in their they're trying to be If I think of Aquarius, if I watch Aquarius, if I mentally try to manifest Aquarius, maybe Aquarius will come back. They want you to take the lead on something with the high priestess, but you're not moving. They want you to move. You're too wise, is what I heard. This person, and okay, so they want to, this person is running from one situation, one relationship to you. This is somebody who's all over the place. They had, so there's no offer on the table. They just want to come back. They want to be in your energy. This could even be group, group of people. This could even be gang stalking. But you don't move and you're too wise. You don't deal. You don't allow this to affect you. Somebody is concerned about how it just doesn't affect you. Oh, how, why are you not affected? And why are you not acting affected? You gain all the knowledge that you needed to gain about a, a specific relationship, people, place, group of people. But you're not acting on anything. These people are like, why are they not moving? Why are they not doing something? Or why are they not, oh, retaliation. For vengeance is the Lord's. Yeah. Aquarius, somebody wanted you to be the secret lover. Why, are, why have you changed? Why are you not with it? Why won't you take to it? It's somebody's, um, you know, mental process here. 
So I'm like, just cannot for the life of them fathom that you're going away. What else do we want to tell Aquarius? Just keep coming out, the Seven of Swords. What can, let's expound on that spirit if you can talk about the Seven of Swords in regards to what Aquarius should know. The Seven of Swords. Um, the third deacon Aquarius could be significant for some of you, so that would be late February Aquarius almost going into Pisces season. So maybe you're an Aquarius that is in that deacon. So it's three deacons. So um, maybe that time will be significant for you, for all Aquarius. Um, let's see with the seven of swords here. What do we want to tell Aquarius? Two of pentacles, tower, fool. Justice at the bottom of the deck coming in again. October could be significant. Libra season. There's a you've learned some lesson, and now you get to you know um, start anew. You have nothing to lose, or somebody has nothing to lose. Somebody's got to go through some scorpionic change within there. The Two of Pentacles talks about change. It's like they're learning something here. This could be you, Aquarius. This could even be, yeah, third deacon Aquarius. Like you have to learn. Wait, somebody's weighing up the pros and the cons in terms of making a decision. So you're gonna cut something off or out because something keeps coming back around something that has historical value in a relationship so it, if it is somebody's deceptive nature it just keeps showing up somebody tries to sweep it under the rug but eventually somebody's going to get to a place where they're going to be done it's going to be over yeah somebody could even be coming to a place of just divorce separation again a decision being made one that is best her doppelganger I don't know it's like somebody was trying to be you or somebody was trying to weigh up the the decision about you or about another person it could have been opposition here it could be legal problems legal matters what somebody was doing on an everyday basis maybe was seeing two different people was trying to do two different things trying to grow two different things at the same time Eventually, one is going to, you know, overtake the other, eventually. And then here comes the tower where something will be expelled, you know, out. And then somebody can start anew, follow their heart, follow their dream. This could even be some of you trying to start your own business or really trying to let something go. Maybe you're nine to five and then you're going to do your own thing. Some of you waiting for some money so that you can, you know, live life on your own terms, do your own thing, make some moves. The fool card here. Let's see what we can gather from another deck. All good though, Aquarius, all good as usual. Aquarius, you've been on fire, okay. Yeah, a mature man is significant here. So somebody's older. He's in a temporary state of opposition. He's not. This could be a love affair. He could have something else or someone else or a lot of someone else. Um, with him comes conflict, um, comes chaos. Uh, he could also be bringing order. Let's see what, what this guy is about. Oh, he could be bringing marriage, or he could be already married. What is this about for the Aquarius? This could be somebody that's coming into your life that is 
bringing stability, stability. Maybe this is where you're going on that locomotive. Look, it could be a Leo because Aquarius, you were riding a locomotive. It had a lion's face, lion, lion of Judah, lion is associated with Leo. Leo could be significant. You'd be meeting a Leo. You could be a Leo. No, you cannot be Leo. You could live Leo in your chart. You got another eight showing up here with the 35. This person is going to take you down a new road. You may date one to two years and then you get married. Or maybe you've already known this person one to two years. This person is good. Something about Leo season is it's going to be significant for you, Aquarius. This person comes into your life and changes a lot. And like I said, they could be bringing stability, marriage. Um, this is a well-established man. They may be bringing a new way of existing because see, this is a well-established man. He's waiting for the locomotive, waiting for the change, right? Um, he has money, prestige, all of that because he's not going to pick up his own bags and put them on the train. Someone's going to come and grab those and then he will board the train. Somebody could be ushering you into a new way of life, like victory all right okay it's all starting to make sense aquarius some mature man could be significant in terms of this new life for you this newfound abundance or wealth or the man could be the universe yeah there could be um a child somebody wants a new start with you aquarius someone that you're estranged from or you'll meet someone new The offer may start off small, but then, you know, it, it, it could snowball into something big. This person could, this also contrasting energy could be that this person is taller than you, you're shorter than them, they have more money than you, you have less than them. Or they're just well established. I knew it was coming out. Wealthy man. This could be you, some of my masculine uh, Aquarius. Some of you just go marry into money or you're going to find someone that you want to marry. Scorpionic change, 13. The change also could be within you, Aquarius. Someone needed to go through a change. Wow. I'm just talking about change, change, change. Look at that nine change. This talks about fast change. Look how they just threw stuff in the car. So it's like somebody could just be coming to you and like you coming with me. You live at my house. This is your residence. This is the car you drive. This is the life. This is your allowance. I don't know, you know. Whoa. I cut the deck, the house. In this deck, it talks about a relationship. Could talk about a house, but this talks about a relationship. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Hang on, guys. This is driving me nuts. House. All right, yeah. This is a sig So it says the arrival or the departing of a relationship. Some of you are going to depart from a husband type figure the emperor the three of swords with the justice and look what comes behind it some of you might be going to somebody else some of you are letting this emperor energy go and then you get a husband you get an offer you or, or they're telling you you need to let something go some idea of having a relationship with a significant person you need to let that go because there's so much more on the other side of, of holding on to that dream. Yes, this is a new person for Aquarius. Now that's what I asked the card. I said, is this a new person? Because I was going to say, well, maybe this is the universe, just blessing Aquarius, you know, and all these, 
you know, this new found abundance, this new life, but this is a new person. Somebody new brings in a lot of abundance. Some of you pray for a wealthy man or a wealthy woman or somebody who is worth it. Yep. There's that scorpionic change. The moon. Somebody went through some deep healing. And now they're able to... They learn lesson and now they're able to start over with you. Whoa. Y'all know what card that is. It says a healthy, wealthy marriage. Temperance card. Somebody had to get their life in order. They had to take time to do this. This is going to be serendipitous meeting. This is going to be... Um, again, this is like a new social setting, new social group. This person or whatever this is, it brings you into a new way of existing. I see a lot of masculine energy. So it, I could be talking to a lot of my feminine, uh, female Aquarius women. Um, you can come into some abundant relationship. This is what someone, is this what somebody prayed for? Yeah. Yeah, this is what some of you prayed for. With the two of cups and the five of pentacles. You just didn't, you don't want, yeah, the queen of, wow, I can't make it out. You like severed ties with like an old way of existing. Some of you want luxury. You want love. You want a new life where new house, new home. Some of you did move real quick, made a fast move. This move, whatever you, wherever you moved, it's going to bring a lot of abundance into your life too. I'm seeing that. Yes. Okay, so I was asking, is Aquarius perpetual abundance? Remember that from the beginning of the reading. Is it attached to a specific person? Yeah, a twin flame, four of wands with the knight of wands. This is somebody, This it's also attached to a home move. Some of you relocated or redecorated or redid something. Ooh, this could be a redoing, a restart. Mm -hmm. For some of you. But your abundance is attached to a person. This is 20% Cancer, 20% Leo. Something about Leo, definitely. This is also Sagittarius. We got two fire cards. Something's going to happen fast. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles talks about marriage and travel later in life. So this could be somebody over 35, 30 and up. We'll call it 30 and up club. So this is going to be an abundant, perpetual, abundant marriage. This is going to be good for you, Aquarius. Ooh, somebody's going to be sad. Four of Cups because they let you go. Um, but yeah. Yeah. They can't get your attention. You chose to walk away. You chose not to give any attention to this. And you're going to be getting married. You're going to be promoted. Whoa. They're going to be in a... Yeah, you chose to walk away from this. You made sense of walking away. And again, there is no victory for them. Defeat. Again, this is a person who looks at relationships like win, lose, draw. Oh, Aquarius walked away. So that means they won. And it's like, what? No, it hurt me to walk away, but I knew I had to walk away. Aquarius is all about self-preservation. So Aquarius, most times, if, if you're a cross-watcher, Aquarius will walk away to preserve themselves. If they keep giving, if they stay, they will falter. They will wither away and just dry up. So they just walk away so that they can go and, you know, re-energize, preserve themselves. So Aquarius made sense of just finding peace by walking away. It was a loss. Aquarius took the loss too, if you want to look at it that way. 
but it wasn't like, oh, I'm walking away so I can be the victor here so I can have the upper hand. It was just like, this isn't serving me. I got to leave. You got all the black birds. Something was over. Some way of existing, Aquarius, is over for you. You manifested a new life by way of walking away. Again, you got another card of choice. You made the choice of. So it was... So when we talk about choice, if I you come to my cookout and I say, well, you know, I have hamburgers, hot dogs, um, steaks, and shrimp, well, you know, that's the choice there. You can choose shrimp, right? And um, but your hamburger or your hot dog or your steak is still readily available. I didn't throw it out in the garbage because you chose shrimp, right? So Aquarius chose to walk away. So that means that they could have stayed in this, but it would have been detrimental to their existence. There's also somebody a little bit upset because they did not ever tell you how they really felt about you, that they loved you. This is when somebody loves you, but they're not saying it. So it's causing them a lot of mental friction okay so a decision would be is if you you come to a decision is what miss queen of swords makes you come to my cookout and say okay there's steak shrimp hot dogs hamburgers and you choose shrimp and then i pack up all the other food and i take it to the garbage and throw it away so all the other food is not readily available to you. It's in the garbage now. You decided on shrimp. That was it. So some of you really decided on leaving this behind or leaving the old way of existing behind, an old life. Like the Queen of Swords knows, like if I'm going to have newness, like I really cannot I have to rightfully divide, rightfully decide, right? Make a decision. So she cut away. It's not readily available like in this, uh, like a choice would be with the six. To say all that is to say that Aquarius could go back to this if they wanted to. I don't think they do. I want, I want to go back to this. Somebody's husband is cheating. He's a liar, outright liar. You know, outright liar. I just keep hearing outright liar <laughs> shit. Yep. Somebody could be pregnant, expecting. Could be you, Aquarius. You'd be pregnant with a really good idea. Baby shower, you're the center of something here. Um. Oh, yeah, this fell on the floor. Leo coming up again, the sun with the four of pentacles. So you're holding on to a grudge or holding on to, you have the trump card here. You're going to use it when it's best for you. You're holding something back, but then you're going to release something. Yep. When it's best, some knee jerk opportunity to release something, to put it out. about somebody's her whereabouts or what they do or where they've been or what they're doing, how they've kept options open, cheating, cheating scandal. Are there any messages in, in terms of maybe a new person for Aquarius? What are the messages for Aquarius for a new person? You're keeping somebody's secret or you think you're keeping their secret. Somebody knows that your husband is an outright liar and a cheat, but they're not saying anything unless you say something. Or somebody's got some dirt on a husband who's an outright liar and a cheat. So you're going to find someone new and they're going to be very understanding. They could have a beard or they could hide their feelings for you. But then they're gonna make it clear. They got clear skin too, so this person looks good. So they can hide their feelings for you initially, then they can make it clear. 
uh, all talk and no action. So maybe they're going to clear some things up for you with the yellow card. Yeah, they're going to tell you their good idea um, or, or what they're thinking. So the idea starts in the mind. So they're going to tell you how they feel. Wow, this is going to be a, a real life earth angel. Maybe you could be the earth angel to them. Illegal business, money. I don't know. Maybe they can have some. They got some funny money, honey. And maybe you could come into their life and you can say, "Hey, we got to change all of this." Anniversary. Very nice. So, um, they're going to be in your life for for a while. They're not here and gone the next day. They want you to finish up something, or they're going to finish. Yeah. This may be who you are with to the end of your time here on the earth. This person is going to cause a lot of gossip about you because they're going to be so good to you. Hard headed. I don't know if. What is that? Clarify hard headed for the Aquarius. Oh, you may not be really believing what they say to you because you've been through so much stuff. They're going to tell you they love everything about you. They do mean everything. And you'll be like, no, but it is love. They do love you. All right. So that's that. Wow. We got love coming up again, Aquarius. So they got like spiritual love and understanding love. Or really, they're emotionally... Uh, evolve and then it's like friendship also it's love 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 <coughs> excuse me Aquarius let's tell Aquarius about this past person because they keep wanting to resurface with no offer yeah they're studying you we, we talked about that they're just now just watching you they rather just watch you stalk you this past person, they feel like you're smart or you're being smart. Again, back to when we talked about they feel like you're playing a game, like come chase me, you know? So they, they feel like you're being smart, a smarty part, a smarty pants. Yeah, I can't talk after 8 p.m., sorry. So they may be saying you set boundaries with them and that was just, um, you being smart, you being a smart aleck, you trying to play a game. They're just stuck. They're stuck in low vibrational energy. They're stuck on you. They're stuck and they're broken. Okay. And I don't think you can fix them. And they always go back to the physical. They always go back to sexual. They feel like your body is perfect. They're definitely in the dark or they could be dark or they could be African American, but yeah, something about them is dark. They won't heal. You're their security. They like to have you around. They want to be in a relationship with you because you're a secure place for them where they can be themselves. With other people, they have to act. They have to put on an act. They're meeting people just like them, which is horrible. Something about texting. Texting was significant here in the relationship. Maybe they text you, you don't text back or vice versa, or it was mutual. Um, this person is complacent in their low vibrational lifestyle where they hide several secret affairs from you. They feel like maybe a feminine energy, feminine energy is being unfair. And they're completely immature. One more card for the past person. One more card. Giving. They want to give something to you. They want to give to you or they're, they're uh, we got angry because you're not giving to them anymore. And there is definitely separation. You stop waiting for them, waiting in reverse. Yeah. We got lush in reverse. Maybe they stop drinking or they're gonna stop drinking and they'll promise you that. I knew this was coming out. They're trying to do magic to get you back. This is like 
intellectual magic. We talked about how they would just sit and think about you. I heard write, maybe even writing your name, I don't know, doing some type of magic to get you to come back because you're warm. But this is with the capacity that they want you in. The side chick or side dude forever. And they just want you to accept it with the Caucasian, you could be Caucasian. Um, but they, they want you to be, they want to be clear on the fact that they, and they want you to accept that you're going to be a side chick forever. What are the good things coming to Aquarius? Oh, 50 minutes. Oh my gosh. What are the good things coming to Aquarius? Her spiritual gifts. Family room. So you're going to be open up to or ushered into a new way of living, a new existence. This could even be um, honored or brought into the fold or finding your um, tribe, heart coven. Yeah, privileged lady. Some of you are gonna just be like um, single. Um, we have wealthy men come out and the privileged lady is the wealthy man's wife. So you could be marrying into money. Um, you're gonna be privileged. You, whatever you want, you have. Whatever you wanna do, you do. Community, you got people that work for you. You could have a staff. Um, you're gonna have. Um, um, you're going to have um, an audience. Also, they're gonna be trusted individuals that you you frequent, you see every day, or something like that. This is karma for somebody, but it's also retribution to know that this person who played with you is now in like a spiritual prison. This main male who never really wanted to show up in a good capacity in your life, stuck. May even be going to jail. It could be a couple. I heard a throuple. Maybe somebody wanted you to be a part of their relationship. These people are gonna be stuck on you. Um, this could have even have been the relationship that you were in where it didn't have um, it didn't have a title, main male, main female, right? And um, this person wanted you to be stuck. But the, the hole that they dug for you is now the one that they, they rest in. Yep. They manifested this. Now they're stuck. They just stuck. Yeah, they're stuck in thought over you. This is your retribution to know that, you know, it, it wasn't by your doing. It wasn't like you prayed that this person would be stuck on you. I hope not. But... It is what it is at this point, especially moving forward. You're gonna be, a new relationship is coming to you. You're gonna be courted, courted in the correct way. And this is a person who's gonna court you in terms of we have intentions for the relationship. Like I'm trying to get married or I wanna have a kid or you know, whether it's traditional marriage or you know, something unconventional, but it's something where somebody wants to be in your life, you know? Um, let's see. The good things coming to Aquarius. I knew it was coming out a gift. So someone could propose to you. Someone could um, pour out their heart to you, declare their love to you um, with the gift card. It could come around. This person could be a Leo around Leo season. Wow, very significant. Maybe even around Aquarius season with the 17. Whoa, somebody's gonna be official in your life. They may deal with you kind of short in the or in the beginning, or they just say what they mean. It's not super duper, super duper lovey dovey, but this person is real. You know, they mean what they say. They're dedicated to their work. They're dedicated to being a provider, um, but they're also going to be dedicated to you. A lover, lovers. So yeah, they're gonna be dedicated to um, being in this relationship. This is gonna be a significant partner, significant relationship. Judication. I heard they may want you to sign a prenup. I don't know why that's coming up. Wow, great fortune is coming to you, Aquarius. 
this and it could be associated with this person so it's funny that they gave me prenup and then they gave great fortune you know this person could be extremely wealthy and they just you know they want to protect themselves and it may be um a conditional prenup like you don't have you know maybe it'll terminate after a certain number of years i don't know if that really matters to you anyway um this is what i have for you aquarius all good things um, I hope it cleared up some things for you in terms of maybe this other person. Do know that you have perpetual abundance coming towards you. Leo season is significant, significant, significant for you. So many eights, eights, eight. You could be seeing eight, eight, eight. It could just be significant for you. This is the time for you to move on something, act on something, to do something, to start something. Um, to have your person. There's so many manifestations coming in all at once. Obstacles being removed in your life. Eight again. Aquarius, nothing but beautiful energy coming into you. Um, if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website. Readings are on sale 50% off. The price you see is not the price you pay. At the checkout, just type in uh, five zero off 50 off and you'll get 50% off all readings. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do a collective reading, and then I answer your questions. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.